Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to open one of my quilting books and get some inspiration. Let's get started. Here's the quilt book I am getting inspiration from today. This Warman's Vintage Quilts, it has pictures of a lot of vintage quilts. It doesn't explain how to make them, but it is very inspirational. This one I thought was simple and pretty with that mustard colored yellow and those red um, hourglass blocks in the center. Some of those hourglass blocks are repeated in some of the blocks. It's a quirky kind of quilt that I really had fun trying to replicate here today. So I'm using three inch squares. There are four mustard and four cream or white, and then I'll need red and white for those hourglass blocks. hourglass block I need four inch squares to begin with so I'll use a background square one four inch square and then a red four inch square and with just those two squares I'll be able to get an hourglass block this was a nice red print that was just shy of four inches but since everything is trimmed I'm going to try using it and hopefully I'll be able to get to that three three inches that I need when I trim everything down. To make the hourglass block for each of these quilt blocks, I am using, like I said, those two four inch squares and I will be able to get two hourglass blocks out of just these two squares. So you saw me cutting extra for the other blocks in my quilt, but really for just this one block, I only need these two pieces of fabric. a pencil line from corner to corner and I put a seam on both sides and now I'll press towards the red fabric and I will put these two half square triangles together with opposite fabrics facing each other and try to get that seam nestled nicely in the center there and then I'm going to be drawing another line from corner to corner again I'll sew on both sides of the line and then I'll be able to press this open for my hourglass block. up with two hourglass blocks so I have enough for two of my quilt blocks and I'm going to trim these two three inches so they go along with the other pieces in the quilt block.
12 book that I'm using calls this block the letter X nine patch on point. Uh, I know that some blocks have different names and I know I've made this block before and it used a, a different name. It's not coming to me right now, but um, we have done this block before on my channel. I used it in one of my sampler quilts. I think this block will be a little different because I'll be putting it on point, sort of setting the block on the diagonal. This is a very simple block to make and all I need to do now is make some more to make this beautiful quilt and like I said I'll be setting it on point. I'll use some 8 inch squares alternating with my quilt block and I don't know if you notice here now but instead of using that white background for my hourglass block I'll be using a print just like that quilter long ago used a print for that background fabric and that will just make this quilt look extra scrappy and kind of fun. So I'm using that sort of a blue plaid print for that center block. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.